What is up, Nuggets? It's your boy, Killer Pizza, here with a brand new video for all you rascals and rapscallions out there. It is the month of October. We are currently about 10 days out from Halloween, one of the best nights of the year. I hope everybody is being festive, decorating with some spooky stuff outside your house, watching some gory horror movies. I've currently been binge watching the uh, Friday the 13th movies through the box that I got from Scream Factory. I just finished part five last night. Very fun revisiting these movies. I'm not going to do a full, you know, review or anything about those now. I'm just going to say the transfers on these are amazing. It is the best way to watch that franchise, and I'm loving it. But that aside, this video I'm going to do today is one of my favorites that I get to do. It is a horror movie collection update. Pretty much all the movies I've picked up over the last month. So let's get right into it. Now I must say, first and foremost, a lot of these movies are kind of newer. And by newer, I mean the last 20 years. Because I, I normally watch, you know, 70s, 80s, 90s horror movies. And I kind of leave it at that. That's kind of like my area. But every once in a while, you know, you get some newer stuff that's pretty good. And uh, this one has a special place in my heart. That is The Faculty, which I just found out recently that Robert Rodriguez directed this. I, I never knew that, like, as a kid. Because I probably didn't even know who he was at that point when I first seen this. But, uh, you know, there was a lot of horror movies that came out after Scream, the big boom, when the slasher came back. And, I mean, I don't know if I consider this necessarily a slasher. I mean, I guess so. It's kind of got a little science fiction edge to it. But anyways, this movie was really fun when I first got it, when I first seen it when I was younger. I had it on DVD uh, and all that. I think this was one of the first DVDs I ever bought. But a uh, pretty fun story about how all the teachers are kind of crazy in the school and all the students are suspecting them of being like aliens or something as a joke. And it turns out these motherfuckers are aliens. And then the teachers go to attack these kids and whatnot. And, you know, I don't remember much from it. That's pretty much all I remember, that the, the teachers and the faculty themselves were, like, uh, infected by these slugs, kind of like Night of the Creep, if I'm not mistaken, Night of the Creeps. And, yeah, they start killing off all the students and everything, and then the students have to fight back. It's pretty much like, so yeah, Slasher 101, Horror Movie 101. But I remember really liking this, and like I said, this holds a very special place in my heart. Then we have Tales of Halloween. Now, I don't remember which YouTuber I got this, uh, got the idea to buy this from. I was watching a couple, like, best movies to watch around Halloween type of videos around the time I was making mine just to see what other people were saying. You know, because I'm a big fan of watching uh, other people's content online. If you got a horror page, leave the link in my, uh, in the comments. But I heard mixed things about this, Tales of Halloween. I heard some people on Amazon say it really sucked. I heard a lot of people say, you know, it had the essence and the vibe of Halloween and some gory shit, especially in the intro, I heard. In the beginning, there's some gory shit, but it's an anthology horror film, and you guys know me. I love my uh, anthology horror films, so excited to check this one out. Now, this one, more of a horror comedy, which this artwork on the cover is absolutely amazing, like pure 80s right here, Dead End Drive-In. Now, a good friend of mine, Jeff Simmons, he was watching this recently, and I told him, like, oh, man, I, I kept thinking about buying this movie, and I looked it up online, it was out of print, or at least I couldn't find it, but, you know, months went by, it popped up on uh, suggested items, and I said, oh, shit, gotta snap this up now, it's an Arrow video release, Arrow is always great, tons and tons of special features, but this one seems kind of fun, it's pretty much like a futuristic storyline. And they, I guess they take all these teens and bring them into a drive-in and they kind of like incarcerate them in the drive-in and all types of shenanigans ensue. I'm kind of looking at this more of like a trauma-esque horror comedy. So this should be fun when I'm in the mood to watch that. And then this one here I got for pretty cheap. It is the three movie collection, Jaws 2, 3, and 4. Uh, I had to pick this one up because I got the Jaws 4K, I think in July. I think it came out, so this kind of completes my collection for Jaws. Uh, I don't really remember much of these movies. I think I remember the second one being pretty good. They have a pretty bad reputation of them, not mistaken. A lot of people don't really care for these, but, you know, continuity, man. Continuity. Gotta have them all. I like the Pokemon. I like your kids collect those damn Pokemon cards. Alright, so this is totally not the style of movies I like. I'm not a fan of Paranormal Activity. Like, once that kind of style of film took over horror. But I remember 
my roommate at the time back in the day, uh, Travis, he suggested this movie. And we watched it, and I won't lie, this movie creeped me the fuck out. The Fourth Kind. It's all about aliens, and it kind of, they try to play it like it's real, where they have, like, real interview segments, and then reenact other stuff on, like, found footage kind of camera, and they try to, like, splice them together and convince you that, you know, the, the CGI footage and all this creepy shit is real, which, it was creepy, really eerie, like, on the cover, bodies levitating, and, and, like, these alien devil voices coming through the the recordings and everything. I just remember this movie really creeping me out, so I had to go for this. This isn't normally something I would buy, but the price was right, so I said, all right, I'm going to pick it up. I enjoyed it when I watched it. Then we have another Arrow video release. This is something people have been telling me about for a long time, and that is Evil Ed. So, uh... This movie is apparently so bonkers that a lot of people can't even give me a proper description about what it's about. But in a nutshell, this guy, Ed, from what I understand, works in an editing. Like he works editing movies, and they move him to the horror department, and then it kind of drives him crazy. And then it's kind of like a blur between reality and uh, what's in his mind and everything. And I guess this shit just gets off the walls bonkers. Lots of crazy visuals, effects, kills, gore, and everything. So, uh, you know, I'll save this for a rainy day. Sounds pretty fun. Evil Ed. A foreign film, by the way, too. Now, here's one that always got suggested to me, like on Amazon and stuff. I, I, I always put it off. But when I see, like, a Scream Factory release, I always try to look into it. I thought this was, like, a vampire movie forever, Ginger Snaps. But apparently it's a werewolf movie. And I finally just said, F it. I'm going to buy it. The reviews look good. It's kind of a coming-of-age story, I believe, these two sisters, and one of them gets attacked and becomes a werewolf. Blah, 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 blah. You know? <laughs> I'm not a big werewolf movie fan. I mean, I like The Howling. I like uh, uh, American Werewolf in London. But, you know, I prefer them over vampire movies. So we'll give this one a shot. You know, I heard some good things. Now, another one I don't know much about. This is a more recent release nightmares you know i I try to uh keep up with what's coming out on like blu-ray.com and just see the new releases and around this horror time a lot more movies have been coming out and uh yeah i literally know nothing about this movie besides it's another horror anthology from the 80s i've heard decent reviews from it i didn't look too much into it sometimes you gotta just blind buy something especially when it's like a anthology you can't really go wrong with those so nightmares if you've seen this one uh let me know what you think in the comments down here Now, here is Wasted $5, I feel. When this movie was first coming out, I got excited. And then, uh, I think, like, John Campbell, actually, the creature feature John Campbell explained to me, like, oh, they fuck it all up, the continuity, because it's a prequel. You know, oh, that doesn't follow, like, what actually happened before the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and that is Leatherface. But it was $5 on Amazon. I finally said, fuck it. I'll give it a chance. I bought it. That's it. Sue me. It looks like I'm wearing a Donald Trump hat, by the way. I'm not. It's a Bubba Gump uh, shrimp hat, in case you guys were wondering. Just to clear things up. All right, so the next one I got is Snuff. Now, part of the description I read at one point was like this was like a bunch of clips from like Snuff movies. But when I read the description, it seems like a full movie. But uh, either way, sometimes I get in the mood to watch some exploitation horror. Just some really savage shit so this is like this movie is known for being like so offensive it says on the back this film could only be made in south america where life is cheap like apparently it was so offensive they couldn't make it in america so we'll see i've seen some pretty fucked up movies in my life and i have necromatic one and two on my shelf which i haven't watched yet so it's like we'll we'll see where this compares like i said i've seen some fucked up movies you know, let's do this. I mean, I watched Faces of Death as, like, a kid, so... Though I don't like watching too much, like, real-life gruesome shit, when it comes to movies, you know, bring it on. Let's see what you got. Now, here's one I was really upset and offended by even coming out when it first got released, and that is the remake of Evil Dead. But, you know, because I, I, I am a prude when it comes to movies. I don't like all the remakes. I got Leatherface up there, but uh, especially this one. I have a soft spot in my heart for Bruce Campbell and the Rami Brothers. And it's like, how can you remake Evil Dead? But, you know, when I seen that uh, 
Bruce Campbell and Sam Ramai were like producers, you know, obviously they had some approval in it. And I was surprised by this. I think I only watched it a couple times when it came out. This movie is so crazy and so gory. I loved it. I loved this movie when I watched it. And I've been meaning to kind of pick it up. It wasn't until I was watching one of uh, Christian Hanna Horror's videos on YouTube where he was talking about movies you should own. And he suggested this one, but the uh, unrated version. So I'm like, oh, even crazier than it was. So I said, hell yeah, I'm going to pick this one up. This and the originals are really good movies to watch on Halloween, by the way. They are crazy creepy. All right, and that's actually all the uh, movies I have for this pickup. But I actually have a couple other things here. I uh, know it's just a horror movie collection update. And a lot of these uh, next items aren't really, obviously, movies or horror. But they are movie related, and I picked them up. So I figured I'd show you guys. I actually just grabbed this one today. What is it? This was an impulse buy, but it's... Uh, Two glasses from the Sandlot. I love the Sandlot. You got uh, Killing Me Smalls, which is overused a lot in advertising the shirts. But I love this glass. Legends Never Die. And it's got a group photo with the uh, the whole crew. And they got the beast in the front. Like, perfect. I don't own too many, like, 16-ounce glass cups. These will be nice for a brewski. So, yeah, I had to buy those. The next, oh, don't lift this too high. I can't show the address. Now, I actually got this sent to me as a gift from my good friend Tim. He runs the uh, Collection Reflection Interview podcast. Uh, and he has a YouTube channel for it. It's on uh, ONTV. You can find these episodes. And he actually has a show coming up with uh, Jack's Attic, which is a creator of a lot of like horror novelties and everything. Good friend of mine as well. That's going to come out on the 26th. It's going to be streaming on Facebook live, and then it will be put on their YouTube channel. I can leave a link in the description to watch this because uh, Tim is a great guy, great a big horror fan. Uh, it was fun talking to him. You could I uh, can also leave a link to the episode I was on, which was a lot of fun. And this is why he uh, sent me this. He sent me this as a thank you, which he didn't need to do. And this is Matt Christopher. Now I don't really collect autographs, but. This is nice. You know, I didn't have to have this sent to me. So I appreciate this, Tim. I really do. And this is actually one of my very favorite movies, uh, 1978's Dawn of the Dead. I think that's the best out of all the George Romero movies. And this is the classic monk zombie that kind of comes out at the end once all the bikers invade the shopping mall and all the zombies start rushing in. So pretty iconic picture here. Yeah, groovy, man. I was pumped to get this. Like, you know... You didn't have to do that, Tim, but I appreciate it. You're a good brother. And, uh, yeah, like I said, on the 26th, check out the interview with Jack's Attic. Jack's Attic is a very cool dude, too. That should be a fun episode. <laughs> then, also, I have something that I might want to do, like, a longer video on. I had to buy this. This is the VHS video cover art book, kind of like a coffee table book. How cool is that? And it's just pretty much pages and pages of old VHS artwork. I thought this was cool. I just skimmed through it. This will be fun to have some friends and stuff kind of browse through this. and Because that's where it all started, VHS. So, uh, yeah, I could do a longer video about this, like I said. I want to go over more about this because it's pretty rad. So, yeah, grab that. And that's pretty much my whole haul. That's everything I grabbed. Uh, let me know if you guys have been picking up anything lately, what horror movies you've grabbed, what horror movies you've watched lately. And uh, tell me if, in the comments if you think I should pick up any more movies, any suggestions, because I'm, I'm all ears, literally. Wouldn't that be weird if like a human was all ears, like one big ear, or would it be like a bunch of ears that make you into the person? Alright, I'm an idiot. Alright, anyways, Hope everyone's enjoying the time. Stay safe out there. I know the COVID shit's rising. Don't let it ruin your Halloween. Watch some spooky movies. Have your friends over. Have some fun. Eat some candy. Do what you got to do. It's the best time of the year. Hope everyone's doing good. Blood, gut, score. I'll check you guys next time.